Ten and nine for the Chicago 37. We're scoreless. Blitz, Marino unloads and overthrows Mark Dupre. That's what's amazing statistically last year than the year before. James Pruitt, 82, is in there for Clayton, 83. Marino fumbles the snap from center and has to cover it as Otis Wilson covers him. I guess the question I'm asking, though, is was it, in fact, a better defense? They had fewer sacks. They had fewer takeaways. They had a higher third-down conversion ratio on defense. And it looks like uh, Dan Marino's favoring his hand, his right hand, on this play. It could have been on a snap. He had it down too low and it jammed it on the snap. He's holding on to it. But we'll get to that bear issue in just a moment. So Marino goes out. Don Shula looks at it. Apparently not too serious because Marino walks right by him. And Jim Jensen, the seventh-year man out of Boston University. There are easier ways to start a season than by facing Miami's Dan Marino. But in the overcast opener, Marino's right arm was no match for Chicago's young leg. The Bears controlled the ball for three quarters kept Marino off the field, and dominated the Dolphins 34-7. Fourth down call now. Dolphins jumped a count too soon, it appeared. On the right side, Sanders pops it loose to the end zone for the touchdown. Mike Ditka met the press. Ball control was good. We ran the ball. We ran the ball. We, run, we got good offensive linemen. We run the ball well. We're proud of our people. We like our people. For those who don't like our people, that's tough. We like them. We'll see him spelled quite a bit in there today by Al Harris to give him a little time. But he is a force and has to be dealt with. Now on the outside, he's going to make some tight ends lose some sleep. Down the middle to Stratford and incomplete. Actually goes to the sidelines and Marino not happy with the way Stratford ran his route. The coverage to David Tate chance to watch a little stunt being developed on the left-hand side of the line. We talked about William Perry. Perry will come in behind his tackle, and you'll watch the tackle drifting to the outside. Just a chance to watch a typical stunt from these two. Well, we get this thing to clear a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Steve McMichael, 76, breaking outside. William Perry breaking inside. Marino only 4 for 12 in this first half. Down the middle, incomplete. Stratford was the closest Dolphin. And a four for 13 first half for Marino. So Merlin, you had two keys in this half. One was the pressure on Marino, and certainly the Bears have mustered enough that he's not been on target. And the other was the rushing game of the Bears, and they have run at will against the Miami defense. Total yardage dramatically, and you saw the hard jaws of Don Shula He'll look holes for you when things are not going well, and to say they're not going well here would be an understatement. For those of you watching the Miami-Chicago game, we'll take a look at the highlights if you're a Bear fan, the lowlights if you're a Dolphin rooter. Along the sideline today at Soldier Field, Walter Payton. Unfamiliar situation, out of uniform, his first year of retirement. Here's his replacement, Neil Anderson, the first of his two touchdowns. Anderson had a big first half with 56 yards and the two TDs. The second one came after this Richard Dent fumble recovery at the one-yard line, and it was 14-0. Don Shula unhappy. Marino hit Clayton for a touchdown that cut it to 14-7, but two more bear drives ended with touchdown runs by Jim McMahon. This is the most recent one, and it puts them in front by a score of 28-7, and they held Marino to 4 of 13 for 55 yards in the first half. One of those passes, however, was the touchdown to Clayton. Ahmad? Jim McMahon still a catalyst in that offense. You talk about Walter. He's trying to encourage the defense to stop Marino. 28 to 7 here, start of the fourth quarter. Fumble on the handoff, and the Bears get it. Jim Morrissey. Opportunity to gather some confidence for Jim Morrissey, who stepped in for the injured Otis Wilson. Let's watch him on that last play. He's coming on the blitz. He sees the ball bouncing away from Clayton, and he's right there to pounce on top of it. The misery in Chicago for the Dolphins continues. 
They've cheered the Bears throughout this afternoon. 28 to 7, Chicago leads it. And Dan Marino takes over on his own 10 yard line with nine and a half minutes left in the game. Intercepted by Ron Rivera at the 12 yard line with flags down. Did Rivera interfere before the interception? Well, I think he may have gotten there just a little too quick, but it's still a, a stellar play by Rivera. And they're going to have to have a lot of those this year. I mentioned the question mark on Rivera, not his ability to play the run, but his ability to cover the zones and to play against the passing game. So he made the fine play, but it is up the depth chart, that's for sure. Marino, 9 for 21. Incomplete. There's the depth chart that is passed out. In case you've just joined us, here's how the scoring developed. Neil Anderson scored early in a short run and then added another in the first quarter to give the Bears a 14-0 lead. Mark Clayton, the only Miami score on a 28-yard pass from Marino. Then McMahon with a dive over the middle and then a little roll to the right, and it was 28-7 at halftime. We've had no scoring here in the second half. Kevin Butler has missed a couple of 40-yard-plus field goals for the Bears. Fourth and inches at the 20 of Miami. Tom Sanders has a touchdown. automatic uh, typewriters make you know just like a chewing up corn that's about the way this Chicago Bear running game has worked against Miami just clickety click click and Thomas Sanders with a 20 yard score that'll get that average up with his career six the extra point was with the Bears before he went to Denver now we have a final in 21 14 Cincinnati defeats Phoenix uh, winning score a couple of boomer Isaiah and touchdown passes